All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you how to rig up for sturgeon. Let's check it out. Okay, first of all, um, let's talk about the weight. I like to use an eight ounce pyramid or cannonball sinker. And sometimes I'll use a six. I got a six cannonball right here. I got a six pyramid, depending on the, the current. Most of the time I'm gonna stick with an eight because I wanna hold that bait right where I want it. All right, and then talking about the weight, we're going to move on down to, you need to have your weight hooked up to a, some sort of a sliding setup here, like this, so that it slides on your main line. And the reason for that is, if you hook up onto a big fish, this is your main line here, and this is going to your hook on this other swivel. If you hook up onto a big fish and your main line breaks, if you had this, had a three-way here and your weight just tied to this swivel or whatever, then if you broke your main line, that fish is still going to have the hook in him and he's going to be hanging with that weight hanging off of him. So this way, if you hook into a big fish and he breaks your main line, then this weight is going to drop. It's just going to drop off. And he's going to be just with the hook and the leader hanging in him. And most likely, these barbless gamagatsu hooks will just roll right out if it's just in his mouth. And they pop right out. Super easy. Okay, so make sure you have your weight on a sliding setup on your main line. And you're going to tie your main line to a swivel and you want to use swivels that are that are beefy you know it's going to hold up to some heavy duty fish so i use these big swivels right here i like using these over i do have some that are like this that have like a snap lock on them but i always feel like maybe this could bend with a really big fish and come off so I just eliminate that and, and run just the swivel itself. And then your leader on your um, to your hook, you want that to be at least 12 to 24 inches long. You don't want it too short to where it's too close to all this stuff because what he's going to do, he's going to come up and he's going to slurp this hook up and he's going to be playing with it and then he's going to take off running and you want this line to just pull and you don't want all your weight and everything too close so you want and then also your leader on your weight is going to depend on what the bottom of the river is that you're fishing if it's sandy you can have a shorter leader if it's super rocky you're going to want a longer leader so that bait can hang up above the rocks all right, and then I use double clinch knots. That's the only knot I like to tie. Super strong double clinch knot. If you want to see how to tie it, link will be in the description. Also, the way I tie my hooks is I snail them. If you want to see how to do that, the link will be in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you.